the true story of Hanukkah. And to understand this story, we need to time travel back nearly two centuries before the rise of Christianity. The trip is worthwhile because it will set the stage for the birth of the church. The original Hasidim rejected Greek rule, and they gloriously helped bring military success to the Maccabees. Nevertheless, Jewish independence was short-lived. The temporary condition of legitimate Jewish home rule only lasted until the Roman Empire took over. In Rome, limited Jewish control shortly before the time of Christ. This is the Jewish world into which Jesus was born. Judaism had been molded between the hammer in Greece and the anvil of Rome. First century Jews could still taste the victory of Hanukkah and their brief era of independence during the Hasmonean dynasty. So think of it like this. Hanukkah celebrated a spectacular Jewish victory over pagan Greek rulers. This was very meaningful to a Jewish world which was then dominated by pagan Roman rulers. The names and uniforms were different, but in a sense it was the same old stuff, if you know what I mean. We must all recognize that this was the atmosphere that gave rise to the Christian gospel. And this all bears witness to a fact I try to pound home for my non-Jewish viewers, namely that Jewish history and the early church are inseparable. If you want to know more about Christianity, you need to understand ancient Judaism because ancient Jews were the bricks and blocks of the early church of whom our Jewish Savior was the chief cornerstone. There are many reasons why Hanukkah is one of my favorite Jewish holidays, but did you know that you can scour the Jewish Bible till the page numbers wear off and you won't find, I'm, I'm serious, you won't find Hanukkah with a magnifying glass. On the other hand, if you knew where to look, you might find it in the Christian Bible. Do I have your attention? If you're Jewish, you might wonder why Hanukkah was left out of your Bible. And if you're a Christian, you might wonder why it's hiding out in your Bible. The Hanukkah story, in a proverbial nutshell, is a small band of Jewish freedom fighters successfully, they drove out a, a, a vastly superior army of foreign oppressors. The annual celebration retells the story for ongoing generations of Jews to remember. Many Gentiles just assumed that Hanukkah is our way of competing with Christmas. I promise you, it's not. Hanukkah is one of the best documented ancient celebrations within Judaism. And I want to clarify a, a few important points about the holiday. Today, I want you to have the cold, hard facts about what Hanukkah is and what it is not. Hanukkah is not a Jewish Christmas. Hanukkah is not a particularly holy, holy day. In fact, Hanukkah is not even a biblical holiday. Like most Jewish kids, I grew up enjoying Hanukkah more than any other Jewish festival. But the Festival of Lights is not a somber, reverent holiday like Yom Kippur, our Day of Atonement. In spite of the fact that the rabbis classify Hanukkah as a minor festival, many Jewish children still place it at the top of the list. And Prior to the break, I told you that Hanukkah is not in the Jewish Bible. Well, there's a very good reason for this fact. Actually, you might feel a little bit silly after I explain the reason. It's not found in the Jewish scriptures because the event did not take place until several hundred years after the last book of the Hebrew Bible was written. Our Bible was finished before Hanukkah happened. I'm sorry. But the first celebration actually took place during the intertestamental era. Okay, the word intertestamental may sound complex, but it's a simple thing to understand. Just like interstate trade describes trade between two or more states, or an interface serves as a link or a connection between two devices, 
The intertestamental era is the time period between the two testaments of the Bible. This era is often described as the silent years. Some believe that more than 400 years passed without biblical revelation. Hanukkah is a product of those silent centuries between the finish of the Old Testament and the beginning of the New Testament. 